Okay guys, how is everyone doing? Welcome to another video hiking over these Pendle Hills. It's been beautiful all day, you can probably see behind me. There is some storms forecast. I've got something to cook up in the woods, so hopefully I can get that done. I'm in the micro camper, so if the storms come on, I can get in there and make it a coffee. We'll see. Let's get going. So yeah, it is supposed to clear up, you can see clear sky behind me, but Big storms over there. I'm gonna do some sky watching over here tonight. It's supposed to clear. Got this siren that's with me. Hopefully, we do get some clear skies, guys. Okay, guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm Mick. What I do is get out in these remote areas in Northern England, the Murrays, and around the UK. Sky watching using the silence camera, see if we can film anything unusual in them skies. So, if you like this sort of thing, please do subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll always reply. So if you remember I showed you a few videos ago this particular little stream was absolutely full of frog spawn but it's all gone, been washed away a few little tadpoles because we've had such heavy rain and the water runs in it pulls here and runs out of it but if it comes in too heavy it'll wash everything away So you might be able to make out some tadpoles over there. Quite a few over here, these black, black lumps. So we were, we've had some surviving. Well, you can see just under the tree newborn lambs, first of the season. And they are very young then, days old. No, that's not looking promising over there. We'll see. You know, that weather might miss. Seems to be just passing over more towards the west, hopefully. So, if we do get caught out in these storms while coming, not supposed to be too bad, I don't think, but the wind's coming here from the west, that's a really good natural shelter overhanging rocks there. I think I definitely get a bit of shelter in there, so I might be using that after until this passes. I think that's gonna miss really. I'm just gonna go off the track here, get a bit of shelter just in case because I wanna cook up something I've got in my bag. Very simple, but very tasty. Get against this wall, bit of shelter. I'll have me a little snack. So you've got to be so careful in these places. These old stone walls come down. I'm sure this wasn't down the last time. Hang on, what's happened here? Yeah, this tree limb. Two tree limbs have fallen and gone crashing down there. So, did it windy? You've got to be careful. This spot will do because I don't know if any of these are going to come down and they won't be heavy. But that would be dangerous if you sat, sat over there and that come crashing on you. You've got to be vigilant when you're out. A bit of shelter anyway. So guys, bacon grill, this is called. It's that luncheon meat, spam. Cook it up, put it on a tea cake. If I can cut it whilst holding this GoPro. Simple, but definitely filling. And this rain, it's not here yet, but I think it's going to move in. Decided to move from that spot because the wind were really swirling around and I don't think that was much shelter. I don't think I'm going to stay dry. Uh, definitely not going to stay dry, no matter what I do. moving in now and it is cold I think this is winter could be a bit of sleet or hill in this get me shelter I want to cook 
we snuck up. That bit of shelter I showed you earlier. That's the one we're using. It's a hot floor. The wind, if it's coming from that way, and we have got a bit of a bit of a roof on here, so maybe I can keep dry. So guys, you can see it's going really wild, but we're staying dry. Don't like that tree because one crashed down there, but that one crashing in my direction, but. Staying dry, and I think it's going to pass quite quick. Some brighter skies coming over. So we are sheltering under some rocks in the middle of Pendle Hill. In this wild weather, but well, hopefully it's going to pass. Well, half an hour and it seems to be passing. You can see a bit of brighter sky coming over, so there we go. We'll get it going. Thank you very much, Natural Shelter. Brilliant, no work involved. So, I'll pass back to where we were to get this cooked up. Yeah, seems a lot brighter. Right, yeah, we're cooking. I'm going to cook it slowly because I forgot to bring some butter or oil and I don't want it burning. Got some bread in my bag, a couple of nice sandwiches. Just the ticket when you're out hiking. And that'll definitely set me up for my uh, sky watch tonight. So I think that's about done. I don't want to burn it, get it on this bread. It smells brilliant, so simple. Nothing has to be complicated. This is what you know is about, not over complicating anything. You gotta love it out in nature. So there we go, my squashed Warburton baps. But who cares? Everything seems to taste better outdoors, so that'll do the job. Okay, guys, made it up to the moose. The weather is so unpredictable. Today, the way it went, I had to find that shelter, which loved and stuff like that. But tonight is one of the clearest nights. It's been for weeks, if not a month or two. There's no wind. Uh, awesome. Hope it stays like this and that mist doesn't roll in. It just goes to show you can never predict. It digs forecast to clear up a bit, but stunning. It's not quite dark yet, it's still twilight, but them stars are just starting to show. So hopefully we can spend a few hours up here. Okay, so up on the mirrors, as you can see, the sun is just setting. It is twilight. As you can see, not a cloud in the sky, and these stars are starting to show through. So I'm hoping for a really good clear night. Just hope that mist doesn't come in. I'm hand holding tonight. Let's see, yet again, if we can film anything unusual on this Sarnix camera. You've got to try. Get yourself out, guys. Get some equipment. A lot of people say they see things. They got explaining this guy. Get out. Get some equipment. Unless you get out, you won't see it. Unless you've got equipment, you can't show anyone. So people can try and figure out what it is. This is the Cyanix. It's around a thousand pounds, so quite an expensive piece of equipment. But like I said in the last video, the Night Fox 110R night vision binoculars, I used them for about two years. 100 pounds on Amazon. You can see all the stories. Well worth it. So do check that out. There's a link in the description for that bit of kit lovely and clear absolutely beautiful so we've got a rain in the rain nebula just showing now as you can see it's nowhere near dark sun setting over there so it carries on like this will be the clearest night over these mirrors for a good month or so what a day today Lovely early on this morning. There's a 
got on with my hike the uh, heavy rain coming it was forecast but I thought not going to let that stop me look I found a bit of a shelter a couple of stone walls I usually shelter against and cook something which have come down and I'm quite surprised to see that tree limbs that had fallen on them it shows the weight of tree limbs some tree limbs to knock stone walls down like that that have stood for absolutely years imagine what it'll do for, to your head so I'll never shelter under trees guys you just never know too dangerous so we're just approaching eight o'clock staying a bit lighter now in the UK summer's coming just make out the plate is uh, Orion the Orion Nebula getting a bit brighter so eight o'clock still twilight but lovely and clear a breeze there's always a breeze over these mirrors well the best night for a long time So while we're waiting for it to go properly dark, I did a director's commentary video the other night in the camper van. Let me know what you think about that sort of thing. I've got so many videos and I thought maybe it's a good idea to go through these videos and uh, comment on them in more detail. Saying where I am, why I'm there, what equipment I'm using, what a film, what I think it is, what other people say they think it is whether I agree whether I disagree there's a lot more detail in these videos so let me know what you think about that sort of thing guys I do enjoy doing that I love looking through the old videos and uh, commenting on picking up things which I didn't mention at the time let me know what you think In darker, still twilight though, still not properly dark. These stars are showing up bright tonight because there's no moon. It is really clear, no haziness. But in around half an hour, an hour, we should really have a good view of these heavens. Beautiful. Bit of a breeze, but it was a lot colder today than it is tonight. It seems to have gone a bit warmer. Had them heavy showers earlier, which had some hail and sleet. It really was cold, but lovely now. So we've got the first object of the night moving along there. No doubt a satellite. Like I was saying, I'm not checking the app for every light that crosses, because most of them will be satellites. Only if I think it's unusual I'll check like the other night something very bright come across and it was the ISS but a lot of people do see these sort of lights we stop change direction and speed then we're not looking at the satellite so it is worth keeping the camera on them for a while you never know So there we have the plough, the Big Dipper. I do like this part of the sky though, I do like looking towards the rain. The Pleiades. I wonder what quarter to nine this guy isn't black yet. You can see over here towards the west. Still got that sun setting away. Love doing this one. 
something else racing across the scout there, probably so. But if you messages of people asking if I'm thinking of organising some group scout watches over these Pender Hills, I am, I wanted to last year, I had a lot of problems and uh, just never had the time to get that done but I really do want to invite any of you subscribers onto the Pendle Hills and we'll do a scout watch all night this summer so we'll be arranging that and I'll put on the channel when that will be happening I'm looking forward to that it will be nice nice change that to meet some of you guys Something else moving up there. I think this lens is steaming up a bit. You do get that when it's really cold, especially if you've got it around your neck against your warmer body. Don't have that problem in summer, but the difference in temperature does tend to steam it up a little, little bit. But that happens with all cameras a temperature difference. Summertime, you don't get that. That's why I don't like really putting on a tripod in the winter if I'm. Uh, just coming out into a very cold atmosphere because it does tend to steam up but if you leave it rolling your neck against your body under your jacket in between filming uh, seems to stop it from steaming up keeps it a bit warmer so obviously you put it on a trap in the cold it will steam up but not too bad still see these stories clearly cold, so cold now. It really has dropped as that temperature. So heading towards 11 o'clock now, we're just getting a lot colder, a bit of a breeze. Surprising when that sun drops at this time of year. I mean, it's not been the warmest day, but it was very warm earlier on this evening. It seemed warm compared to today, maybe because of that wind did drop. Let's have a scan around Alton to our galaxy. What is out there, guys, in our galaxy? What is out there in the universe? What is out there past the universe? Is it one universe? Is it multi universes? Who knows? Will we ever find out? Absolutely fascinated. Something else moving along. Of a bright object. I'm checking the out for everything because that ruins your scar watch as well, you'll never relax. And 
Well, I thought most of these things the satellites moving in a straight path you want to keep checking it for but then that affects your eyes and you've got to adjust to the skies again you can't quite pick things out you want to get the camera on so it's not a good idea or native I think something is really unusual What then? I saw something up there, but that's a plane. Crossing up there? I think, yeah. Just notice this object getting very bright and then dim. It's catching the light. Two objects just above it, moving in tandem. I think the, you know, it's hard to tell when, there we go, it's gone quite bright again, but it could be just catching the sunlight. And got them two objects in the centre screen. Disappeared now. That's all its way, it just really did light up. But like I said, a lot of these objects are catching the sunlight as they're tumbling, whether they're space debris or who knows. Particular object you can see just moving a lot bright star in the centre screen went really bright. Now it's almost disappeared but again probably catching the sunlight. You see all sorts, that's why I love coming out, you just never know what you're gonna film. Well, so it can be explained, but some things just can't be explained that easily. And using these cameras is brilliant because a lot of the things moving up there I can't see with the naked eye of them two moving along, then there's nowhere where they're seeing them, but the camera picks them up. So, plenty moving around up there. So there we've probably got another satellite crossing. I mean it's full of them what there is isn't it these days, satellites. God knows how many there is. Keep me eye on it, you never know. Lovely view over there. There's a plane just to the bottom of the screen there. I haven't seen any meteors all night. Love getting them on camera. Problem is, you can't record con 
continuously all night. So you do miss quite a lot. It just happens that when you stop recording you see a meteor. And that is annoying but so we're not batteries. I continuously record. Also a really bright one, like a fireball. And I was pointing the camera at the sky, I got it in the lens. I thought absolutely brilliant and I realised I forgot to press record or I thought I press record air and so I missed that. That did piss me off. I've been following a straight path tonight. I haven't seen any tumbling space debris. That's when you get your flickering and flashing. Maybe sometimes that's not space debris. There's plenty of what I think is satellites moving on. But that's it so far. It's always showing up right now, another sat there. Once all the Starlink satellites going over the Starlink chain, that was impressive. Didn't have my camera at the time, I was hiking over the hills at night time. And I uh, wish I got it on camera, it really was bright and impressive, very controversial. But all these nights I spend out, very rarely do I see them crossing. I think three or four times, but this one particular occasion they were so bright. Oh, probably sat there. I haven't noticed anything. Usual, yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time left. Like I said, I'm trying to be steady as, uh, as I can with this camera, hand holding. Tonight. Excellent camera, a bit of stabilisation with the camera but hopefully they bring out future cameras with good stabilisation like the GoPro and that will be fantastic. Over sat. A few planes about.
two lights they're moving I've heard a good friend of mine has quit the UFO subject due to due to well the grifters they call them people are just in it for the money and using other people's footage it's quite a hostile subject to be in to be honest with you well, that's why I keep myself to myself I will organize these sky watches but I like to get out on my own I film these guys just put up the footage I get that's it end of story you guys make your mind up I'll just check this out. Give me a second, guys. Two of them. There's one of them look like it has slowed down, but maybe not. Satellites there. Try to get the northern lights been up on these mirrors quite a bit. They have been very bright from the UK, but it's been so cloudy and misty. No chance. Might be a chance tonight if they're still showing, we'll see. Plane crossing up there. The Ryan Nebula showing well. It's quite really because the other night there was what I thought was sat going over. A very blue colour. Like an electric blue, I didn't check the help. Sometimes the silence don't pick up true colour, but people since commented saying they see these blue lights which have stopped and changed direction. This one does carried on across the sky so I'm wondering what that could have been I'll never know now but if I do see another blue one I will check the app let's sass that up see if we can roll that out another sat probably plenty moving around tonight nothing unusual I don't think but plenty of time yet Okay guys, I think I'm going to call it a night, it's been a brilliant day, absolutely loved it, it's just gone 12 o'clock, freezing cold, and I think this lens is steaming up a bit, which you do get with these cell nights when it gets really cold, uh, but summertime, you don't have that problem, so, don't know what's in this footage, looking forward to looking back at it, if you do see anything, let me know, please do like, share and subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll always reply, lots more videos coming up, directors, commentaries, UFO stories from the van and out sky watching. So, get yourself some equipment guys, get out. And uh, look up, if you see anything, let me know. Let me know guys in the comments, I'll tell it in the van. You lot take care, you like-minded people. Much love, God bless, speak soon.